This is a uh, baton that I designed. I uh, got the inspiration to this baton after I designed this, which was also on Thingiverse. Uh, I designed this to support up this acrylic for me so I don't hit my head. Uh, the concept that I came up with, I, I ended up strengthening and uh, turned it into a baton. Uh, as you can see, this was the first generation of my prototypes. Uh, pretty strong. This is in PLA at about 40%, 50% infill. Uh, as you can see, I hit that pretty hard. And uh, it's still in one piece. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's indestructible because it's definitely not, especially in PLA. But uh, when I have tested these things and, and broken a few, the only piece that really ever breaks is this one out here. Uh, this this piece doesn't ever really break. Uh, and down below, it doesn't really break. Uh, this is basically how it works. It works in one print, no supports. It can be done on a single extruder. You can see how complex it is in there. Uh, it can be done on a dual extruder. These were actually printed on a single extruder. I just set a Z height stop. Uh, this was done on a MakerBot Rep 2. So was this. Uh, so these slide out. It's basically how it works. But you see, I have little like flanges here that are filleted so that they don't really break off if you put force on them. Uh, they slide up sliders that each each piece has, and each piece has one of these. And at the end, there's a, a stop that kind of like tapers off, which will lock it out. I'll show you this in the other one, but it just prints just like this. Uh, this one was the one that I'm going to post on Thingiverse. It's the most advanced one that I made. Uh, as you can see, it prints just like this. Uh, this is a separate print. It's totally optional because it won't it won't fall out the back and it won't fall out the front. Uh, this has a nice screw in it that spins and sticks out ever so slightly. Uh, but it spins freely, it won't come out or leave. This is threaded, as is this. So, so they just meet right in. You lock them up nice and tight. Uh, this one extends. Uh, when you extend this one, uh, because I tapered off the sides, you you can hit a few times and it won't it won't fall in on you. You really have to knock it in yourself. Uh, this the point of this little screw is at the end of this at the bottom. It's threaded with a hole for that where it sticks out ever so slightly uh, to latch into the bottom of of this guy and uh, lock him in place so that this doesn't come out and then you just undo it and you're back to batoni. Uh, there's a few other things that I can do with this. Uh, this concept it doesn't have to be a weapon. This is just, I don't usually design weapons. This is the first one I ever designed. Uh, I got carried away and did brass or plastic knuckles but that's... I'm done. Uh, but I could put like a little hoop on it to make it a, a thriller for like a tennis ball for your dog or something or something to knock things off. I don't know. But uh, it's a pretty cool concept. Uh, like I said, single shooter or any, any old printer will do it. Uh, as long as you can print Z high up to 5.8 inches, you're, you're good to go. So, that's what I'm talking